Good morning, everyone. This is Michael Miley here with the Hurricane Season 2020 update, part of the Hurricane Outlook Session for July 25th, 2020, recorded on 9 a.m. Eastern Time. Well, real quickly, our main focus this morning is going to be on Hurricane Hannah, a newly uh, designated Hurricane Hannah out here in the Gulf of Mexico off the Texas coastline here with hurricane warnings uh, for portions of the Rio Grande Valley and the Texas coastline with tropical storm warnings from the Mexico coastline all the way up through near Houston. This is a fairly large storm and as such this is going to provide a large range of impacts for a uh, for the Texas coastline there. This is expected to continue intensifying on into the Texas coastline uh, this afternoon and early evening before landfall either late this afternoon or early evening before finally then moving inland and dissipating out here over the mountains of Mexico and the higher train over there. The latest recon plane that was in there did find pressures of about 980 millibars, so about a two millibar uh, drop since the last uh, since the last pass there. Uh, this is actually probably a little bit too high, even with the 982 pressure. Pressures could be down to near nine uh, 977 millibars. Um, one thing to note here is you notice how we have a fairly lack of hurricane force wind barbs in here, and this is because the storm is deepening rather quickly. You can see here on the latest recon plane that was in there. By the way, this is from tropicaltibbets.com. The pass did find about 977 to 978 millibars uh, on the way out into the northern eye wall here. And if we take a look here at what's going on on the radar, you can see we've had a fairly significant change in presentation since, uh, since yesterday. And we talked about this really late last night how the eye wall was starting to come together pretty nicely and you can see now that we have a almost fully closed uh, eye wall it, it is practically a fully closed eye wall this is a, a larger eye wall here with almost the secondary a more tighter eye wall this might be uh, concentric bands possibly an eye wall replacement cycle although that's pretty unlikely at this point what's more than likely happening is we have this larger area of closed uh, circulation here here, uh, with the eye actually trying to contract and tighten up and through here. And what that would do is actually strengthen the circulation even further. This is already deepening about two to about two to four millibars, uh, about two to four millibars an hour, which is fairly significant. That means that it's rapid and uh, rapidly intensifying and still has about six to eight hours finally makes landfall. Now where this would be coming in at, if we can really get pretty close in, this would be about um, US 77 right there, south of Corpus Christi. Uh, but you notice one of the things that's uh, fairly interesting here is that the structure is fairly broad. This is a fairly broad eye, eye wall uh, area here and you translate that roughly over here on a due west movement that brings some of the eye wall uh, directly over downtown corpus christi and near rockport uh where of course hurricane harvey made landfall near rockport texas uh you know back in 2017 but this could be fairly significant if it does just loosely translate to the west and does not contract an eye wall that's going to bring the eye the eye and eye wall over a fairly significant broad area so for you folks all the way from near Rockport uh, down through near uh, the Texas coastline here the Rio Grande Valley um, needs to be watching the progress of this again a this is starting to take more of a southwesterly turn you can kind of see that in the last couple of frames it seems to be diving a little bit more to the south southwest here or south uh, southwest southwest here basically rather and that might put it on a more trajectory further south which might keep the eye wall away from corpus christi but again it's going to be fairly close and you can already start to see some of the outer bands now beginning to impact the area and again this is not your fairly big cyclone with it providing this really big feeder band it's a fairly compacted area especially on the western side of it but you notice how we have a fairly significant area of deep convection all the way down here to Mexico kind of spiraling in from this and getting into the center of circulation there.
You know, if we take a look here at the IR satellite presentation from tropicaltippets.com, a couple of things to note here. First of all, the appearance today is a little bit more ragged. You don't see a fairly well-defined area of, of circulation. These hot towers uh, kind of rotating around. You're not really seeing that, but you are seeing signs of what could be a clearing eye. This is basically the eye structure in through here. Uh, you have a little bit of a dry slot on this side, but it's not really impacting the core at all. We have a fairly deep convective burst out here with the uh, temperatures approaching about uh, minus uh, 80 to minus 85 Celsius, which is fairly significant. The eye uh, might be trying to warm a little bit here, suggesting that we might have uh, an intense... Uh, rapidly intensifying cyclone further into the point of recon and again this is going to take more of that west or west southwest trajectory coming on shore here within the next about six to eight hours or so and if we take a look here at the h wharf model for uh, this morning's uh run this is uh, this morning's run valid uh, as or initialized as a 1 8 or 2 a.m valid as a 7 a.m. So about two hours ago, pressures were down to 976 millibars. So it's resolving the overall pressures pretty well, maybe a little bit too high. Uh, but the h wharf model does bring this down to 969 millibars and 80, about 85 knots or so compared to where it is currently uh, at about 67 to uh, about 65 to 67 knots. So this is fairly well resolving the overall structure of uh, HANA this morning. And the latest GFS forecast, uh, the uh, 6C run, the one, uh, 2 o'clock a.m. run, did have this deepening rather uh, quite intensely down to about 972 millibars upon landfall in a fairly well symmetrical central dense overcast with a fairly well organized uh, area of circulation. Again, this would put the core in here probably sometime uh, late this afternoon into early evening hours and then continuing in through the late overnight hours in this area. Again, this is going to be a little bit of a longer longer duration event here over the next uh, day or so. And if we take a look here at the HMON model, the old GFDL hurricane forecast model still shows showing about 971 millibars so you know this is going to continue to deepen we talked about this last night how the, you guys need to be prepared uh, for you know cyclones to rapidly intensify we talked about this you know even beforehand even before this became a hurricane or had really any significant hurricane potential at that point so we talked about it it's here now it, it's verifying um, certainly, I wish I could be down in Texas right now to set out the hurricane cameras, but unfortunately, uh, from here, it would be roughly about, uh, it would be a long drive. Let's just say that. I don't know the exact duration, but it would probably be probably closer to 15 or so hours, uh, or probably more than that. It'd probably be about a day or two drive over to Texas, and there's not a lot of gro uh, great uh, road networks down in this area because it's going to be south of Corpus Christi, so not a lot of good road networks. It's, it's very hard to get down there. You notice, I mean, there's, you know, fairly no roads really around here, so, I mean, there is some, but not a lot, so it, we'll be watching this. Again, I'll be doing updates throughout the day periodically, uh, probably two updates today, once again, because we got to talk about a lot of other stuff during the uh, the uh, actual hurricane outlook and discussion later this afternoon. So we have a lot to talk about this morning. Again, first and foremost, though, uh, Hurricane Hannah has formed. It is 75 miles per hour, pressure down to about 977 millibars, expected to head into the Texas coastline later this afternoon and evening. Stay safe, everyone. Have a great afternoon and evening. If you do live down in that area, feel free to send me videos and pictures when it is safe to do so uh, in that area to my Twitter, at micromally one which will be linked in the description down below. Hope you all have a great rest of your morning and early afternoon, and I'll see you guys back here then around 3 p.m. this afternoon.